Why does the hydrogen peroxide in your medicine cabinet have an expiration date? Hydrogen peroxide from the drugstore is usually only 3% hydrogen peroxide and 97% water. Because it's mixed with water, it is called an aqueous solution. Here is a model of aqueous hydrogen peroxide. So they're easier to see, the H2O2 molecules are outlined in black and they make up more than 3% of this solution. In reality, particles are extremely tiny and numerous. For example, a 32 ounce bottle of 3% hydrogen peroxide would contain about 31.4 septillion total particles. Our model only contains 23 total particles. Particles in a liquid are always randomly rolling past each other. When two H2O2 molecules collide at the right orientation and with enough energy, they react. This means the atoms rearrange themselves into new combinations, creating new substances. Here is the balanced chemical equation. Let's watch what happens when our reactant H2O2 molecules collide. In real life, particles that make up gases are far apart, move in constant random motion, and collide with the walls of the container. Notice how before and after the reaction, we have the same number of oxygen and hydrogen atoms. None are created or destroyed in the process. This is known as the law of conservation of matter or mass. By the expiration date, most or all of the H2O2 molecules have collided and reacted. All that is left behind is liquid water and oxygen gas above it. As the reaction slowly happens, the solution's percent hydrogen peroxide decreases while the percent water increases. Hydrogen peroxide is the active ingredient. The less hydrogen peroxide there is, the less effective the solution is for its listed uses. The expiration date is the time it takes for this process to happen. Why is the bottle brown? When the solution is exposed to sunlight, this chemical reaction happens faster. The opaque brown bottle prevents sunlight from reaching the solution, prolonging its shelf life. Stay tuned for part two to learn more about the oxygen gas that is produced during this chemical reaction.